So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks. More specifically, we're going to be looking at the Beetle set from the Festival of the Lost 2023 set. If you guys don't know, I've already done a review for the armor. It's right here. You guys can def definitely check it out. Go through how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And overall, I think it's a pretty good video. I also already have the shader video, which is right here. It's essentially just all of the classes, Hunter, Titan, and Warlock with their respective armor from this uh, from this event. And I essentially just go through all of the shaders that I currently own for all of the armor sets. So if you're interested, to see a certain shader with it definitely check that video out because i go through all of the shaders that i have and i have quite a lot of them not only that i do have the hunter and titan videos where we do where we're essentially going to do in this video where i get pieces of the armor and then make actual armor sets with those uh pieces so if you guys like the video like comment subscribe i really do appreciate it other than that let's start off with the helmet and the bond for the first one this one i think is really cool because we are combining the hex rot robes and the ciceratops hooves with the necrotic grips i think this one is really cool very naturey very like buggy as well i especially like this one a lot because it does have the lucid shader on it i do i love the shader quite a bit but it's also because I am also using the Ciceratops hooves, which I never thought I'd use, but I do think they looks really good with this one, just because there are a lot of horns in this piece, specifically the helmet and the bond. And then the hex rot robes, I think is really cool because again, there's a lot of bug things in this. So I think the like nature aspect of hex rot is really good. And then I honestly, I just think necrotic grips lo looks really good with this. But in general, I think necrotic grips just looks really cool in general. So like that's why I combine it overall. I'm really excited for this one because I am. I just have a lot of necrotic grips like looks. And this one is going to be a really, really cool set to combine with. As for the next set, we're going to be combining the Carapace Gloves with the Fallen Sunstar. I think this one looks amazing. A very like, not bougie, but kind of like a like a noble meets uh kind of metal honestly so for the helmet obviously fallen sunstar gloves carapace gloves but then we have the veil tithe robes because again i want to go for that like bougie noble look and i think these uh this chest piece is really good for that boots of the great hunt and then coronation bond i think both are really good for this so i absolutely love this set i'm really happy because i have quite a few fallen sunstar looks and I think this one might be my favorite. Actually, there's another one that I really, really like. But I think, damn, this one is super close for the Shea. We're using Dreaming Spectrum. I love Dreaming Spectrum so much so that it's actually the logo of my channel, specifically like my little channel thing. It's literally my character and me, like my face and whatnot. So I, that's how much I that should tell you how much I love Dreaming Spectrum. But yeah, I think this one is really, really cool. If I were, if there were to if I were to change anything, it'd probably be the helmet. I think the helmet is super cool, but also it, this set is one of those sets where you can really just mix and, mix and match a lot of these pieces. So let me know what you guys think about this one. As for the next set, Don Chorus is what we're using. And this one is interesting because the boots i think are amazing i think the boots are actually the best piece from the whole set because when you combine it with the cha the chasm of yule it looks absolutely phenomenal also did not know this but the carapaz boots actually has a glow in the kneecaps which is really cool so be aware of that but the corrupting echo gloves with the chasm of yule is really really cool and then bone circlet just looks amazing with this overall i'm really happy with this set if i'm being honest with you i would have preferred if i had the uh crota chest piece for the warlocks that's the one i really wanted to use but i don't have it unfortunately and that's literally the only piece i'm missing from the warlocks pieces actually from everything because i have everyone's already i just just waiting for the warlocks to drop so that way i can make the crota video but overall, I really like this set a lot. As for the shader, Ancient Wisdom is what we're using. I just think Ancient Wisdom is such a dope shader. And with this set, it looks absolutely phenomenal. Let me know what you guys think. As for the last set, I am combining the Carapace robes with the Hex Rot hood. I think it looks absolutely amazing, especially when you look at the Osmiel Mancy gloves as well, because the helmet has a lot of pointy bits to it. Even the chest piece to a certain extent have some pointy, pointy bits to it. So when I was thinking, I was like, oh, what exotic can I use with it? Uh, one of my first choices was actually not as much Osmiel Mancy gloves. There was other ones that I was thinking, but Osmiel Mancy gloves came in because obviously the pointy bits and there's actually uh, like, like not gloves, but there's like metal bits on your fingers specifically the pointer and i think the thumb if i remember correctly for the osmio mancy gloves so for me it was more like a sting which i was like oh that looks super cool so for me i was like i immediately went with that and then for the bond uh ancestral bond 
with the iron to steel combination which apparently turns off the glow as well which is funny and then for the boots shadow boots is what i chose just because i didn't want boots that were like super in your face and honestly this one has one armor piece on each side and it's not even like revolving around the whole boot it's just like part of it which is why i chose it this one is definitely really cool just be aware that the hex rot hood does have a glow in the front that the three dots in the face does glow unfortunately iron to steel turns off glows most glows i should say so for this one it does turn it off but the other thing is shadow boots does have a purple like stone in the actual like armor piece on the sides just be aware of that because i know some people are gonna be like there's purple in there therefore i need to use purple i kind of chose to ignore it because the purples that i was noticing i wasn't really a fan of and i really liked carapace robes with iron to steel because the colors of just there's so many colors in this one like the shoulder pads there's like that like bronze color but then there's that like really rich iron color on the actual plate in the front of the chest piece and then black and then there's so many colors that i was like this one looks really really cool so let me know what you guys think i definitely really liked making this one because the warlocks i just had so much fun with there wasn't a piece that i was like oh this is trash all of it was really really cool and this one was probably the fastest one just because again i think the world has got so many good pieces granted i know some people are not the biggest fan of the beetle set but i do think the beetle set looks better than the spider set at least from like now me like current tony thinks that the the beetle set looks a lot better except for the titans if i remember correctly i will make a video of like looking back at what my thoughts were on the original video uh beetle slash spider video that i made and then what i think now because i definitely do have some differing opinions so let me know what you guys think i appreciate you guys coming to this point be safe i will see you guys later